crew is uh, playing back uh, some uh, video documentation uh, from Wednesday's uh, arrival at the International Space Station. This uh, a very good uh, view through the orbiter docking system, the centerline camera view as uh, Commander Mark Kelly flew Endeavor in uh, for uh, the approach and docking. This is a view uh, as Endeavor was uh, directly underneath the uh, space station, basically uh, looking up at the International Space Station. He flew uh, from the radius vector, which is the imaginary line uh, from the station down to the Earth, uh, up about... Uh, Never Houston, air to ground two for Drew regarding storm when he's available. 90 degrees uh, to align itself with the velocity vector and the docking port that in this view would be at the uh, top portion of the view of the International Space Station. The ISS uh, in this configuration has a mass in space of uh, about uh, almost 900,000 pounds. And the uh, solar arrays which are edge on to the uh, space shuttle in this uh, current view stretch 240 feet uh, end to end. The uh, backbone, the truss structure on, onto which the uh, solar rays are mounted stretches um, 357 feet from end to end. And by comparison, a, uh, a U.S. football field is 360 feet in length if you count the, uh, the two end zones. So the uh, station basically is the uh, length of a football field. It has uh, more than 31,000 feet of pressurized volume.
into an orbital sunset approaching the northwest coast of Australia. Endeavour is now uh, 310 feet from the International Space Station. Commander Mark Kelly now establishing uh, the orbiter in a stable position on the uh, plus V-bar, the velocity vector out in front of the ISS. shuttle flight control room for a go for docking. Crew, meanwhile, is in the process of powering up uh, the orbiter docking system. <laughs> 